Hello guys welcome to my channel once again if you are new here, do well to subscribe and don't forget to turn on notification bell. If you find it difficult managing your telegram group, or if you need a bot to help you manage your group, then this video is for you. In this video, I will show you how to get a telegram bot that will help you manage your group without any difficulties. First, create your group. As you can see, I have created a test group. After creating your group, go to the search bar and search for Miss Rosebot. Start the bot and add the bot to your group. Make the bot admin in your group. Rose is one of the best and widely used group management bot on Telegram. It has many features for managing groups on Telegram. The first thing I will teach is the welcome message for members who joins the group. To welcome a member, first enter this command and send. It will enable Rose to welcome new members when they join. The next thing to do is to write this command and add the welcome message you want Rose to send to new members who joins the group. If you write mention in a curly bracket, it will mention the name of the person that joins the group. Once you finish typing your message, send it to the group for Rose to save the command. The message has been saved successfully, so I am adding a new member to the group to see if Rose will welcome him with the message I typed. Rose has welcomed my other number with the message, so I'm going to check if it has appeared there. As you can see here, Rose has welcomed my other account to the group. The next thing I will talk about is the auto reply. That is, how you make Rose reply to a certain message in the group. So I will send the command using forward slash with filter and enter the message I want Rose to reply to. I will also enter the reply I want Rose to give to that message. Just like I said, if you enter mention in the curly bracket, the bot will mention the person's name. So with this command, what I want Rose to do is to reply hello with the person's name when any of the members sends hi in the group. Now, the command has been saved. So I'm going to my other account to send hi to the group. As you can see, Rose has replied to the message with my name. The next thing that I'm going to talk about is how to pin a message in a group using the bot. So I'm writing a message to post in the group, once I post it in the group, I will enter the command for Rose to pin the message in the group. If you want Rose to pin a message, reply to the message you want to pin with this command. The bot has pinned the message. You can write another message for the bot to pin for you. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how to restrict or block links from being posted in your group. To restrict links from being posted in your group, write this command and add URL once you are done. Send it to the group for Rose to save the command. Now, the command has been saved, so I'm going to my other account to send a link in the group to see if the bot will restrict it. As you can see, the link that was sent to the group is not showing. So with this command every link will be restricted when it is sent to the group. So the next thing that I am going to show you, is how to block profane words when someone sends them to the group. The first thing to do is to write forward, slash, add, blacklist then you type the word you want to block with the command. Once you type the word you want the bot to block, write this is not right at the end of the message and send it to the group. When you send it to the group, 
the bot will add that word to blacklist. I'm adding another word to the blacklist. Make sure you add an exclamation mark after typing this is not right at the end of the message. The word has been added to the blacklist, so I am going to my other account to send that message in the group. When someone sends that particular message to the group, the bot will automatically stop it from coming to the group, and nobody will see it in the group, including the admin. I am going to show you how to temporarily mute someone in your group. I am copying the command since I have already typed it. To temporarily mute someone, first write set warn mode as a command and write T mute and the number of minutes you want to mute the person. Letter M is used to represent minutes and letter H is used to represent hours. The warning mode has been updated successfully. Note this, if you want to mute someone in your group, the command will only work in supergroups or groups with many members. As you can see, it's available for supergroups. The next thing is how to set the ban mode. You do this if you want to ban someone temporary from the group. After writing this command, write a t-ban and add the hours you want to ban the person. So I'm setting the ban mode to one hour. Once you are done, the bot will set the ban mode for one hour. Now, when someone is banned from the group, he will not be able to message or join the group for one hour. So if you want to ban someone from the group, just reply to the person's message and then write the command to ban the person. As you can see, the user has been banned from the group, so I'm going to my other account to check if I can message the group or join. The group is not showing here, so I'm going to search for the group. As you can see, it can't join or send message to the group, and once the ban is removed this account will be able to join the group. If you want to unban the person, write this command and add the person's username. After that send it. The bot can perform this command in supergroups or groups with more members only, just like it's saying here. Now, if you want to warn someone in the group, reply to the person's message with this command. Once a warning is sent to someone, it is only the admins that can remove the warning. So I am going to my other account to see if I can remove the warning. As you can see from here, it says that only admins can remove the warning. I'm going back to remove the warning I have set on the account. I'm able to remove the warning because I am an admin. The next thing I am going to show you is how to set the warning limit. The default warning limit you can give to someone is 3, so if you want to change it, write a new one using this command. After writing the command, write the number of times you want to warn the person. For example, I will write 5. As you can see, Rose has set the warning limit of the group to 5. So now, if I warn someone in the group, the limits will be set to 5, just like you see it here. You can also type this command to set a warning time for the group. You can use HEDWM to represent the hours, days, weeks, and months. The warn time has been updated successfully. The next thing to show you is how to lock the group. Locking the group will stop all users from sending message in the group. So if you want to lock the group, write this command. As you can see, the bot has locked the group. So I'm going to check if my other account will be able to send a message to group. As you can see, it says sending messages not allowed in the group. Now, 
If you want to unlock the group, come back to the group and write the command unlock all. Now the group has been unlocked, so I'm going to check my other account. Now, all users will be able to send message to the group. The last thing I'm going to show you is how to set goodbye message when someone leaves the group. Write this command and add yes to enable it. The next thing to do is to set the goodbye message with this command. Then add the message you want to set. The goodbye message has been saved. If you want to discover more features about this bot, open the bot, tap on help, and you see more of these features about the bot. You can first make some of the settings about the bot in your group before you add new members. Thanks for watching. If this video is helpful to you, kindly like and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell to get notifications about my new videos.